What are they doing with their lives? They're the ones telling me to get a job. What kind of job do they have? What kind of work are they doing? Why? It's not my issue that I was able to pay the bills for a year without alimony because I was able to do that. Oh, gosh. It was just the funniest thing. So then here's another one. Okay. So, or, oh, it, hi, those of you who just tuned in. Hi, my name is Trisha, and I own this vlog. Now, this is no disrespect to my current life, my real life stuff, my real life stuff I'm keeping off of a public platform. I'm doing so much better. And so I got some screenshots of what my dirty, rotten, good for nothing, low ball hanging, chicken legged, big belly, man tittied, scrotum faced, balding, good for nothing ex husband, his new wife is stalking me yet again and she just won't stop. Now I have quite a few stalkers and if you want to be a stalker, I'm taking applications. Actually, might as well streamline that shit. I've got plenty of stalkers, but this one was my number one stalker who my good for nothing, dirty, nasty ex-husband married. Yeah, after I kicked him out, who was the one who he was having the affair with. <laughs> so when they say, oh, the grass is always greener on the other side. Anyway, welcome to my world. So now she is, you know, unemployed, living off of his income, bored as F, trying to come after me again, again and again and again. And here I am to say, here I am to say, do your worst. And she tried and she failed. She pretended to be me. She sent pizza to my house. She sent CPS to my house. She even got me onto Dr. Phil. Long story short, she got my trash and now she's miserable. <laughs> so now what? Um, okay, so <laughs> She's got my trash and she's still unhappy. So I feel really bad for her because I'm in a much better place. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. I am in a much better place. I've evolved to this whole new, oh yes, oh yes, and I love it. A whole new me. And I love it and I'm happy and so as I am trying to get to new levels, and as they say, new levels produce new devils and so on and so forth, I get that. And no disrespect to my current relationship or my present, present anything, but I just think it's funny. And my reaction is, ha ha, bitch. <laughs> I fell out of my chair laughing. She thought way long time ago that she was going to ruin my life. She was going to ruin my life and take everything from me. <laughs> and so look what she stuck with. <laughs> You know, this is only for commentary so purposes. I got, purposes. I got I'm permission from Judy Trisha to use because her I'm content. From a place. I'm only exposing I'm her. I'm coming from a different place. place my friend, Mama Rick. Happiness, and I am so freaking happy right now with my life, and I'm working really hard at developing myself and developing personal things and living a private life off the internet. Have you guys noticed that for real though? I don't, I don't talk about things that I should. 
Ellie says she's clearly got issues to spend so much time putting you down and stalking, et cetera, obsession. I know. Have you seen me talk about her? No. Have you seen me really talk about him anymore? No. You know, it was really hard. Ten years. Ten lousy years. And then freedom happened. And then ooh, meeting the, the Let's all you know, pray for so truthfully so Tricia you know, to be my, blessed by God. Amazing and wonderful boyfriend. And he is so amazing and wonderful. And I would never want to disrespect him by 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 doing this. And I feel like I am, and it feels so awful. Like right now, even talking about it. Mm. It gives me like a real, it feels like I swallowed a brick. It feels like I swallowed a brick. Swallowed a brick? Oh my it's God. Like She's like swallowing. I don't, I don't like Censored. But the moral of the story is she's watching. She got a moral of the story? Really? And yeah, you talk I'm about Mandy. Mandy's, Mandy's a nice real. girl. I really am. Believe it or not, my whole idea is how God made us be good to each other and we have that's right now we elevate to a whole new level that's right trisha and it feels good to, to work hard and see how prayer works guys operate from a place of, of strength Keep praying with you, Patricia. yeah she thought she, she made me one day it's okay you. it's okay because god blesses you and god blesses you and today i got a huge blessing and i've been working hard at something and i'm slowly getting there so the worst like worst thing kind of happened to me. She had a bad hair day. She was fucking silver and blonde. She's getting well, out. She must be 60. So I, I just was ignoring stuff. And then I got more screenshots. But I will survive. And I'm not going to complain about it. But I was going to complain about it. Because it was like, oh, shit. I went to renew my, well, I had renewed my car insurance. My car insurance went up. And I was like, what the heck? Whole new address. Whole new everything. And the insurance guy says, do you have a 2019 Ford Ranger? And I said, no. And he said, there's one listed at your address. Are you still married? I said, no. And I have the, the screenshot for it. And I'm like, that, at that moment. And I said, well, how much is my insurance going to go up? And he went on and on. And I was like, that's son of a B word. You I was like, kind of, almost, you know, pissed. I was like, I can't get away from that. It's like this, she was bipolar. Swear to God, bro. Floats back up again. She must be on the medication for this thing. I want to stay monetized. That shit crazy today. You flush it and it floats back. That's the way I think of my ex. It's like shit, you know, Trisha. Yeah. Whatever. I said, you know what? All right, that's sixty-five dollars a month. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I figured out everything else thus far. I'll make it work. And then. Today, I got a couple messages. Trisha, you need to handle this. Trisha, you need to respond to this. And it's like, no, I haven't responded to a whole lot of stuff lately. And hold on one second. So I hadn't been responding. But then, you know, I had to respond. So, first of all, first things first, let me just say that. <laughs> she's talking to, she's watching. I just got a screenshot from her Twitter. She's watching. Oh, she's working as a CNA. Oh, the poor people. I feel so bad. No wonder why her nails keep falling off. <laughs> If, if, you know, you better check those ears and those other places. My nails are still on. See? <laughs> she watches. She's watching everything I do. So I don't know what the problem is because I don't want her man. So why is she on top of me? Why does she want me so bad? Why does she want me so bad? <laughs> hey. <laughs> How you doing? You know, I would never have been your sister wife. No, sir. No, ma'am. No, how, no way. Uh-uh. 
you're dirty just as much as she is. He is. He, well, whatever. We all know he wears makeup. So just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get a real job. You're not no CNA in Georgia. You didn't even get licensed in time. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I was so Chris Crocker today. If y'all had seen, leave, leave me alone. Leave me alone, stink box. Leave me alone. You can't have my boyfriend. You can't have my life. You can't have my life, stink box. You can call me fat, but you ain't never once showing your bikini pic. Oh my God. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. And so what? I have big arms. Okay, so what? The bigger to hug with. And I ain't hugging you. <sighs> For years, girl, don't you have a hobby? Don't you have a skill? Why are you following everything I do? So first of all, to those of you who are listening to this, or she's not a home record. No, she helped me out. I'm grateful she took my trash out. I don't care well, I don't what they're what doing. doing. I don't doing too much of my Jeez, own thing. She's my mind. That girl's from the window all the time. Leave me alone. No, it's got to be more. Hold on. Hold on, I got to be more convincing. Go ahead, say I have bat wings. I don't give a hoot. They're not bat wings. I just, I'm big. The bigger to hug you with. Leave, stink box, leave me alone. Leave Trisha alone. Oh my gosh, she helped me break free and become the best version of myself and I'm grateful and I'm thankful, but for her to think she has that much importance in my life, she has, this woman's got problems and good for, good, 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 good for them, may they live happily ever after and she says, Placeholder can't break. How am I a placeholder? I'm not a placeholder no more. Stop calling me a placeholder. Stink box. Stink box. Stink box. Listen, let's have a conversation here. First off, if you think I am talking about you when I say stink box, you have a problem. Okay? If you really hate yourself that much, that you identify with a word called stink box, you've got a problem. As her placeholder, how do you know he wasn't a placeholder for me? <laughs> so you can call me a placeholder all you want to. I was over-medicated. I had problems when I was stuck in that really bad relationship. Okay, so I was accused. Okay, I'm going everywhere with this. I'm going everywhere with this. Okay? It's like, what's done is done, and what's over is over. Last year, so last year, and you know that's pretty sad. It's pretty sad that you have to obsess over someone's ex. Like, what, did he say my name during, like, ew? Do you both say my name? Ew, no, there was never a good time. Never. Wow. You want, and without me, you've got nothing. You've got nothing without me. How's it feel? How's it feel to be me five years ago? Someone get triggered? Hey, Sam Telford, wherever you are. Hi, Rebel T. Girl, see, this is when people show up. People show up to the party when you've got that drama. I should have had my sparkly dress on for this. She never showed one bikini pic. 
Let's see you in a bikini and shut your mouth. I'm sitting back here and it's like, uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting back here while you're trying to, you think I really give it one iota. You think I really give one iota of what my ex is doing? I don't think so. I have my present and I have my future. And oh, what a great package. Unfortunately, my past was such a disappointment. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm working on games. Oh, look at that. I go to Itty Bitty Muscle. I never used to have muscles before. So um, I'm, uh, I'll be flexing. <laughs> oh, sparkling dress and the tiara. So someone right now is at home fighting with their phone, trying to get me to read these screenshots, and I'm not. Oh, if you've not tuned in, hi, I'm Truthfully Trisha. You can find me on Instagram, and you can find me on OnlyFans, where I didn't need any post-separation support except my bra. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, kill me. Anyway, I better behave. Oh, it has been a great time away from the drama. Unfortunately, my number one stalker is back at it again, making some ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous accusations. Apparently today. Fans, I gotta tell you something. When I was not streaming live 24 seven, apparently I had an affair with a baseball player. A real hot and sexy, meaty, juicy, yummy, tall, dark and handsome baseball player that had probably, no, baseball player, not, not soccer ball. He wasn't, his balls weren't, no, he wasn't kicking them like my ex was, but, you know. Oh, thank you so much, Nocturnal. Oh, I will, Ellie. So it, it's just kind of funny. So there was that, and then there was another one about me having an emotional affair with a, what was it? Esteemed musician. Where does this stuff come from? I, 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 what's the next one? Come on, I, I want something good. Come on with the next one. <laughs> oh, so meanwhile, she's bored. And she's got, so for $9 an hour, she's wiping poop off somebody's butt. And that's okay, you know. That That is a very essential job. But unfortunately, she probably lost one of her fingernails because she's always losing nails. <laughs> Thank you, Kimbria. I love you, Kimbria. And I love classic Computer Blue, Nocturne, all of you, Rebel T, Vet, Laura's Hope. Just ask where your nails at. How the hell does your nails fall off all the time. Those are not leaf press on nails. What the hell are you doing with your fingertips? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh gosh, you know, thank you so much. I fought through some really horrific bullying. I've dealt through really monumental challenges and it's not going to make me bitter and it's not going to make me angry because I'm full of I'm full of love. So if you just tuned into my story, which one day will probably be a lifetime movie because one of my stalkers is going to hunt me down and kill me oh God, and steal I'll my God, hair Jesus. or my fingernails. I'll be no Um, We got enough that going on with Joe Biden and damn Donald Trump. That's I've ever felt in, in for a long time. And... Girl, I'm an organ donor. You're not taking my nails. Maybe my daughter taught me that one. <laughs> but this woman, she was my number one stalker besides my ex-husband's ex-wife who first leaked my news and did all that other crazy stuff. 
stuff that I've taken my power back and I've taken I've taken my my life back. Y'all can't y'all can't take that away from me. I feel good about myself and I love myself and I'm finally in that place. 43 is going to be great for me. So meanwhile, <laughs> she's making up all of these, like she's writing on more websites. She's posting more stuff and she's trying to do whatever she can to shake me, Ricky. But let me tell you something. Let me ask you this, ladies and gentlemen. If you're happy in your life, if you're happy in your circumstances do you have the time to be picking on someone else on everything that they do um from my hair color oh she needs a toner she needs whatever it's the lighting she's got a wrinkle she's got a stretch mark so what her ass is flat they say so what you're not tapping it so back off bitch the best of me is yet to come. I'm still working on me, and that's it. You ask her where she been in the last two years. Where have you been, girl? What have you been doing besides following my life? Girl, you're a fan. You're not a hater. You're a fan. But there's just too many stalkers I can't keep up with. And then, and then, Y'all think I'm dumb. Y'all think I'm like dumb. Oh, Kimbria says, I divorced my husband two years ago and have talked to him maybe three times about divorce documents so I can marry my current husband. Like WTF. Well, they're out of their money. Haha, uh -huh. she got divorced. Her divorce settlement, she probably gave him half of it to pay his, oh, she did. She gave him half of it to pay off his back child support. Not me. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served cold. Living well is the best revenge. It's so great. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. So I can be truthfully, Trisha, and... All of those lies, never paid my lawyers, never paid these things, never gave up concessions. Dude wrote a two-page document that wanted a divorce. There was no special concessions. He was so dumb. He split his baseball cards in half, taking the good ones, and I destroyed the rest of them which weren't any good. They were just common ones that I paid for. But he left his documents behind. Not documents that were against the law to have, documents he didn't want that proved he was stolen valor. All the stories of him rescuing people and doing these things for the United States Army was a bold-faced lie. That's something I do.